Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Eccles, Acting Director of Health for the City of St. Louis. COVID-19 continues to spread in our community. This week, residents submitted several new questions about the virus. When the vaccine for coronavirus is ready, who will get it? Recognizing there might be limited supplies of vaccine for COVID-19 once it is ready, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has recommended a tiered priority of population groups. This week, we received three questions about face coverings. Are masks really effective in reducing the spread of the virus? How do face coverings prevent the spread of COVID-19? Are cloth masks better than disposable masks? Cloth coverings, when correctly worn, are one of the most powerful weapons available to slow and stop the spread of COVID-19, particularly when used throughout our community. Face coverings provide source control, that is, they help prevent the person wearing the mask from spreading the COVID-19 virus to others. Face coverings also serve as a barrier to prevent respiratory droplets from infecting individuals not already infected with the virus. All St. Louisans have a responsibility to protect themselves, their families, and their communities. The City of St. Louis Department of Health recommends everyone over nine years of age wear face coverings in public spaces when around people who do not live in your household, especially when physical distancing cannot be maintained. Businesses are required to ensure face coverings are worn by individuals in their establishments. Different levels of masks are appropriate for different situations and needs. Cough face coverings are recommended in non-patient settings. However, medical grade face masks should be reserved for settings where clinical care is being provided. Is the virus going to get worse when the cold and flu season arrives? It is not yet known if weather and temperature affect the spread of COVID-19. Some other viruses like those that cause the common cold and influenza spread more during cold weather months, the months when people typically congregate in enclosed spaces. But that does not mean it is impossible to become sick with these viruses during other months. For example, we know that influenza occurs throughout the year. However, there is much more to learn about the transmissibility, severity, and other features associated with COVID-19 and investigations are ongoing. Is the skin affected in any way by the virus? I've heard people who become, become infected develop a rash. On May 14th, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a nationwide alert to warn doctors about a rare but dangerous illness in children believed to be linked to COVID-19. The illness called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children was first reported by physicians in the United Kingdom. But children of all ages across the United States have also been diagnosed with multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Preliminary data shows most of the cases are in children between ages 5 and 14 years old. The illness shares some traits with toxic shock syndrome and Kawasaki disease, including persistent fever, rashes, red eyes, lips, and tongue, and swollen hands and feet. At least three deaths have been reported and over 100 cases are under investigation. We're still learning about COVID-19 and its impact, long-term and short-term, on the body's organs and immune system. As more information becomes available, we will share it with the public. Is it safe to travel to other states? Travel increases your chance of getting and spreading COVID-19. You can get COVID-19 during your travels. You may feel well and not have any symptoms, but you can still spread COVID-19 to others. If infected, you and your travel companions, including children, may spread COVID-19 to other people, including your family, friends, and community for several days. If possible, please cancel any non-essential travel, especially to places with higher risk of COVID-19. Don't travel if you are sick or if you have been around someone with COVID-19 in the past 14 days. Don't travel with someone who is sick. I have seen people out at stores wearing gloves. Do gloves help prevent becoming infected or spreading the virus? For the general public, wearing gloves is not necessary in most situations, like running errands. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends wearing gloves when you are cleaning or caring for someone who is sick. Wearing gloves outside of these instances, for example, when using a shopping cart or using an ATM, will not necessarily protect you from getting COVID-19 and may still lead to the spread of germs. The best way to protect yourself from germs when running errands and after going out is to regularly wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer 
with at least 70% alcohol. Can a person get infected with the virus more than once? The immune response, including duration of immunity to COVID-19 is not yet fully understood. Patients infected with other beta coronaviruses are less likely to be reinfected shortly after they recover. However, more information is needed to know whether similar immune protection will be observed for patients with COVID-19. Is there a benefit to eating outside as opposed to inside of a restaurant? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the level of COVID-19 risk depends on the way you dine when eating out. Lowest risk options include drive-through, delivery, takeout, and curbside pickup. A riskier option is on-site dining limited to outdoor seating where tables are spaced at least six feet apart. The highest risk option is on-site dining with both indoor and outdoor seating where tables are not spaced at least six feet apart. The City of St. Louis Department of Health joins the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in recommending when dining at a restaurant, if possible, sit outside at table space at least six feet apart from other people not in your party. I'd like to thank everyone who sent questions and all of you for tuning in. Be sure to tune in next week for more critical public health information. I want to hear from you, St. Louis. Please send your questions to health at stlewis-mo.gov. Questions will be answered in the order they are received. If I run out of time on air, your question will be answered by return email. Be well.